Welcome to Blue Marble Geographic's Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Mackenzie Mills, the technical writer here at the company. Mackenzie will be talking to us today about picture points and photo linking. All right, Mackenzie, what should users know about this process? So any image that you capture on a phone or a GPS enabled camera should record the camera location for where that image was captured. Now, Global Mapper and Global Mapper Mobile can load these pictures in and place them as point features on your map. In Global Mapper Mobile, you can actually use the mobile app on a phone or GPS enabled tablet to capture these pictures in the field and place them directly onto your map data. In Global Mapper, we can choose to open data files and select a photo that was captured with a phone or a GPS camera. So here I have some images that were captured on my phone and then transferred to my computer. Selecting one of these images and loading it into Global Mapper, we see a picture point, a new feature, is placed on our map. This is a little camera icon noting that this is a point feature linked to an image. And this point feature is appearing at the location of the camera where this image was captured. Now using the feature info tool, I can click on this picture point and the photo opens in the default photo viewer on my machine. Holding the control key and using the feature info tool at the same time to click on the picture point, we see the feature information for this point, which includes all the camera parameters as attributes and an image link attribute, noting the location linking to that source JPEG image that Global Mapper can open. So having an image linked like this to your geospatial data to a location in your map is really useful. But if you're going through the process to create a map for print through the map layout editor, it might be better to actually display this picture on your map data. To do that, I can grab the digitizer tool and select the picture point and then right click and choose the top option to place that picture on the map. Here I can click and drag to choose the size and location of where I want to place this picture and then set the style for some lines that will connect the picture on the map to the point feature. And here we have the picture placed on the map so you can see it connected to that point feature in the main view of Global Mapper. So that's one way to import a photo and link it to some data in Global Mapper. Another way is to link an existing image or any file to an existing vector feature in Global Mapper. Moving down on the map, I have a point feature here, and it doesn't have an image right now. It's not a picture point. It's using a different symbol. But if I use the digitizer and double click on this point feature to select and choose to edit it, I can open the modify feature info dialog, and here I can add a file link. Now you can link any kind of file to a vector feature in Global Mapper, but here we're gonna stick with linking an image. I can choose to create that file link, select an image here and click okay. And this image is now linked via an attribute to the existing point feature. Now the image doesn't come in at the camera location where the picture was captured. It's not shown as a picture point. It's just linked to this existing vector feature. Similar to a picture point, though, I can use the feature info tool to select that point feature and open the image in my default picture viewer and view the feature information for that point feature. So I can store some other attributes there as well. Using the same method as the picture point, I can also place the image on the map. So again, with the digitizer selecting and right clicking, I can place that image on the map, choose the size and location and the style for connecting that image to the point feature. Now these linked images and the images placed on the map, um, those will be saved in your Global Mapper workspace. And if you want to export this workspace to a Global Mapper package file, you can choose to save these linked images embedded in that file to share all of this data with another Global Mapper user. Great, thank you, Mackenzie, for walking us through that. It sounds like that'll be really useful. For more information on Global Mapper and the Global Mapper mobile app, please visit www.bluemarblegeo.com. And thank you as always for joining us for Ask the Experts. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode.